Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungo, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So, if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do we're very very grateful i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this today i'm reacting to the elements of sincere repentance by dr zaki naik a very very big shout out to the person that suggested this because they're always giving something new and fresh to actually react to so thank you very much so without wasting time, let's get into this video. What are the special elements which go together to make a sincere repentance? There are four things required. Number one, a person should realize the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His power and his greatness. That if he wants to punish you, he can punish you immediately. So this will make a person repent. And we should not look at the minuteness of our sin. We should look at the greatness, forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nuh, chapter number 71, verse number 13 and 14, Allah says, that what has happened to you? Don't you have hope in the kindness and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He created you in different stages? So if you know the mightiness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He's going to forgive you, inshallah you'll repent. Number two, everyone should realize that one day we're going to die. And you're going to go to the grave. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, Kullu nafsin zaykatul maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. And on the day of judgment shall be the full recompense. That means everyone has to die. And the final hisab kitab, the final recompense, will be on the day of judgment. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al Luqman, Chapter number 31, verse number 34, Allah says that no one knows what will he earn tomorrow. And no one knows in which land will he die. So we have to realize that everyone has to die. And we don't know when will that time come. So that will help us in repenting as soon as possible. We don't know when is our last hour. The third point is that all the rewards for this world and the akhirah is based on your deeds for your akhirah. What you're going to do for your akhirah, the deeds for your akhirah will actually reward you in this world and the akhirah. That's very important. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatih, chapter 35, verse number 5, that the promise of Allah is true. And let not this present world deceive you, and let not the chief deceiver deceive you against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means we have to be careful that all our acts and deeds should basically target about the akhirah, about the hereafter. And there's a hadith mentioned in Tirmidhi, Hadith number 2320, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that this world for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is equivalent to the wing of a fly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not allow a disbeliever even to have a handful of water from it. This world, in comparison to the hereafter, is like a wing of a fly. And he would not allow a disbeliever even to have a handful of water. A similar message is given in, say, Muslim, Boy number four, in the book of Paradise, hadith number 6483, where the beloved Prophet said that in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this world, as compared to the hereafter, is like a person putting his finger, that the forefinger, into the ocean. And when he gets it out, whatever is stuck to the forefinger is like the present world. The present world, just hardly some little water, that gets stuck to the forefinger, that's equivalent as compared to the mighty ocean that is the hereafter. So, so little is the significance of this world as compared to the hereafter. So, therefore, we should realize that this life is a test for the hereafter. As Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 6 and verse number 2, Allah khalaqal mawta wal hayata. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of his good and deeds. The fourth point is that human beings should realize that the punishment can be expedient in this world. And whatever punishment they get, it is because of their sin. Whatever calamity takes place in this, 
it is basically for the sin. As Allah says in Surah Zukhruf, chapter number 43, verse number 76, that no wise shall we be unjust to them, but it is they who have been unjust to themselves. So these four points are very important to be remembered. A lot of people don't understand that sin is sin because there are some people that sin but are still going to call you out for making one mistake because you're not seeing the mistakes they want to call you out which shouldn't be the case we have to recognize that we all sin different we have to recognize that i sinned it's not about what you think it's about what god thinks at the end of the day it's not about what anyone thinks in the world it's all about me and god and my sin we need to recognize that when we sin for those of you that believe in god that god will always forgive us as long as we run to god for forgiveness and we're actually recognizing that we're wrong that's what most people fail to understand that part just recognizing that we're wrong sin <coughs> sometimes we can't avoid Sin. We find ourselves in situations because of bad decisions. We find ourselves sinning. But like I said, and like the video all said, God is a forgiving God. God is always going to be there to hear you out. Once you re repent, don't go back to that sin. Move forward, don't move backwards. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know anything about this world. That's a funny thing. Yes, you know okay fine there's this function tomorrow but we, well, we don't know if it's going to be possible or it's going to be distracted if there is going to be a storm if there's going just all things that we don't know the most important part is about seeking god at the end of the day seeking god at all times of the day seeking god when we need god because he's always going to be there no matter what otherwise i uh, think these elements are quite simple to understand but you have, if you have any contributions, feel free to comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to read your comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.